Sunday the 31st of July. I am performing at the Rose and Crown tonight for the Sunday Stick. Um, definitely different sense of the day, doing it on the weekend. Haven't got work today, so I'm going to start doing a lot of um, things I want to do for the vlog and some fucking personal admin, maybe see my mum, all that. All that good stuff. Um, very much looking forward to tonight's show. I went there as a bringer for someone about a month or so ago. Um, and it just seems like a really, really good room. The MC, Craig, um, looks to be uh, a really good guy, really good compare MC. I think he does comedy himself, but I don't know him too well. Um, I've got um, a few f friends coming, three, I think, um, from my tag rugby team. So that should be nice, they're dying to see me. So hopefully, I've, I've, got, a, I've got a run of, of people that I guess haven't seen me perform before. Um, and I spread my, my my net much wider in terms of the types of bringers that I want to get and not just to my closest friends, just because, you know, the burden is so much in them. And, and I've got so many shows uh, coming up. This is London traffic for you. Can you hear all that? Nice. Thanks for the vlog. Sign and subscribe. Um, yeah, so, you know, it's, it's weird because I still want to put on a good show for people. I'm still not quite there where I'm like, all right, let me try loads of brand new stuff. But... I've started to introduce new jokes into into my set and and what I need to do now is I have more time hopefully I've been really really busy what I haven't I've been recording my sets but I've not really been watching them back I've not been taking out the things that I need to be doing and I've really just kind of been piecing the vlog together when I can without really watching it so I need to start watching uh, back my clips and really start taking out the things that are relevant and hopefully start to build the sets that I have already while hopefully developing um, you know different types of jokes I'm talking as if I know, I have no idea, I'm just new to this, so we'll see. But um, as always, we'll hope for a good show and we'll see how it goes. So I need a, I need a bit of a boost at the beginning, you know. Like I'm sure there's a few of you who see someone like myself up here thinking, you know, he's got a mic in his hand, wearing a loud t-shirt like he's peacocking, he's black. Clearly that confidence is through the roof, but that just isn't true, all right? You know, uh, well it actually is. I'm, I'm fucking bold as you can get. Um, but that, I mean, that wasn't always the case, you know. Um, especially with the ladies in my twenties, you know. Uh, I was terrible with girls, you know, I think, I think I had sex about twice in my twenties. Yeah, and actually, I think um, one of those times didn't even count. Well, you tell me, all right. We were both in the same room, but it was uh, more of a solo project. <laughs> yeah. Sex for me in my twenties was uh, like institutional racism, you know. Everyone talked about it and acted like it was a big deal, but I never experienced it. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you this one time, you know, when I was really, really desperate, really desperate, you know. Uh, I was walking down Holloway Road, does anyone know Holloway Road, North London right there? You know, <laughs> shout out, danger zone. It was once voted the most dangerous road in all of the UK. It was, yeah, that was the year someone got set on fire. Jesus, it's not a joke, you know, so. Um, someone met the... Hello, welcome. Yeah, I'm joking. This isn't a proper interview. Uh, so we've just finished our show at um, the Rose and Crown Sunday Stick. Are we all in? Lovely. Yeah, yeah, we're all in. Here we are. We've got Mickey and Jess here. We had I had two more bringers. Uh, hopefully, so Jess needs us less because they clearly hate the show. Um, go on, uh, Coach Mickey. You had some sage words of advice to me. Didn't ask for it uh, before I performed, really to build my confidence up. What did you think? I think of me. Hold on. What do you think of me? And then, be honest, and what do you think of the rest of the show? I think you had a strong act. Uh, really? You just, you just guessed me up here, was that true? No, I liked it. Nice. Um, it was really good. Anything memorable? Any uh, takeaways? I mean, how much you paid for a blowjob. I had no idea what the going rate was, so... It will bear that in mind, alright? <laughs> just bear it in mind for the future. Well, uh, Jess, what do you reckon? Yeah. Uh, no, it was, it was good. Yeah, you don't mind I, people asking you questions in there? 
Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know people. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, it's fine. People asking questions, and I feel like it ruined the rest of the, their jokes. So that was I just don't awkward. think he had any jokes. But in him or me? Uh, well, both of you. you <laughs> I mean, you're in the audience. You shouldn't have any jokes. She needs to prepare. No, I'm not Yeah, prepared. exactly. But there's a reason. Yeah. Uh, what do you reckon about my my performance? All you you <laughs> brought in Josh at one point, which made me laugh. Oh yeah, yeah that, I think that was that good. was good. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's an easy target, but yeah, yeah. Quite, take yeah, it when take it yeah. when you can. Yeah. No. So um, I really enjoyed it. Actually, I had a good time tonight. Um, I changed up some of the order of that set because that's like my original five minutes. Um, it's going to break my heart, but I have to do it because um, you know the uh, reduced meat joke, right? That's one of my favorite jokes. Hasn't worked in months. So I'm going to finally strip it out, take it away. That's really nice. Yeah. I think we've only been doing this for months. I know. <laughs> I know. It's not good. Sorry, sorry. Since day one, then. That's that's uh, yeah. That literally worked. That worked the first time I did it. Sorry. That worked the first time I did it, and hasn't worked ever since. So that's gone. Um, I did a little bit on the back end with some new stuff, which pretty much didn't work. But that's okay because you can tell everyone that tries some new stuff. Yeah. It's why I laugh every time someone says, "Oh, I thought about this on the way here," and it never works. Like it's just it just never works. But that's yeah. what it is. You know, yeah, you, you gotta try it. Yeah, but, um, yeah. Yeah, good show overall. It is a Sunday night, so we're about to get to bed and be lucky tomorrow. Thanks for coming. So this was an interesting one for me. Um had some people from my tag rugby team to do that as an adult, uh, who come to watch and then they brought a few I ended up having about Four people coming to watch me. So, you know, you kind of get a little bit nervous because you want to do a good show. I'd been to Sunday Stick before, like I said, and it was a great room and fantastic room again today. People today were doing excellent. So when I see people doing well, I'm like, well, shit, I, I, as long as I'm somewhere in and around there, I'm not the worst, then hopefully I, uh, I do a good job. And by all accounts, I uh, did a really good job. Um, I had a lot of fun up there. Um, I feel like I found a really good pattern for that first bit that um, I seem to be having trouble with. But um, yeah, great stuff and uh, nothing but until the next one.